Hi, welcome to the video. Um, don't let my Covid hair put you off. Um, I hope you're all well and that you're, you're safe. Over the last couple of weeks, particularly I guess because everyone's at home and they're looking at their lawns and they're wondering how to improve them, I've been receiving extra amount of lawn care questions. So what I thought I would do is start by answering them at the very, very start. Now, for some of you lawn care professionals, experienced um, homeowners when it comes to lawns, I uh, appreciate that this may be quite basic to you. Just thought I'd give you the heads up now, but feel free to stay and watch. I've been asked a lot of questions about fertilisers, overseeding, um, even topsoil and top dressing and things like that. But the first thing you need to know is how big your lawn is. And I'm gonna show you how to, how to work that out. Now, the first thing I'll say is, if you are into watching YouTube videos and how-tos, the majority of the footage out there is filmed by Americans. And in America, they work in square feet. Here in the UK, we work in square meters. So when you're measuring things, please bear that in mind. Really simple. We'll start with a nice square lawn and all you're going to do is times the length and the width. If it's square, let's just say it's 10 metres by 10 metres, so that is 100 metres squared. So we need to put fertiliser out at 35 grams per square metre. We've got 100 square metres, then it's 35 grams times 100. So that's a nice and easy one. An L shape. So what we can do there is we can just cut that off here and then we're going to times, let's just say this is 5 by 10 and we'll call that 7 by 3.5. So all we're going to do is times this by that and the 10 by 5. And boom, the maths is done. So 10 times 5 equals 50. 7 times 3.5 is 24.5. So then 50 plus the 24.5 equals 74.5 meters squared. So that is the area of this lawn here. And of course what we could do is, rather than cutting it that way, you could cut it that way and then times that width by that length and, and that width by that length. It doesn't really matter, um, but that's just a way of just breaking it down. Squares, rectangles, all pretty easy. Um, L shapes, pretty easy. But what you might find is you just end up with I don't know something a bit more like that. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it up into three boxes. So something like that. It's not an exact science, but what you're doing is for the bits that you miss, you're, it will end up balancing itself out because although I'm inside slightly of the curve, I'm outside the curve on the corners and the same down here as well. So it's uh, what it will do is it will balance itself out. And then what I'm doing is I'm time is timesing this length by this width. So we're called that eight times three, we'll call that two times one, and then we'll call that 10 times four. 
added them all up nice and simple so add the 220 to the 24 makes 26 plus the 40 so 40 50 66 and we'll write that there 66 meters squared so the principle of how to measure a lawn you've got to think about how you can record that information um, relatively accurately now what I would use is a meter wheel and then it gives you your your reading there um, this one is from a tool station I think it's pretty cheap and it does the job had it years uh, it's held together by duct tape but it does a perfect job but before that before I had this you could just pace it out be aware there's a difference between meters and yards and what I would say is if you are going to pace it out I would look at a tape measure first and just familiarize yourself with actually how big a meter is so that you can take those strides and as I say it's, it's quite a rough guide but it gets you a good idea as to how big it is and not guessing by how many fence panels you've got So I hope you found this useful, hope you found it helpful and as I say the next couple of videos will be leading on from, from this. So take care and I'll see you in the next video.